gotta do it for the gram. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. We are getting ready to go to the waterfront today and take some pictures. So I figured I would bring you guys with me and show you kind of how I take pictures for my Instagram. If Eric's with me, he'll take my pictures. If I'm alone, I'll show you how I take my pictures. My Instagram isn't the best. I kind of post outfit inspirations. Just anything that I'm really feeling, I don't try and stick to an aesthetic. It's just really frustrating and not fun that way, in my opinion. If y'all do that, Kudos to you because I could never, but let me show you my outfit. Kind of loving it today. I just curled my hair and I'm wearing this matching set. Don't mind my plate. I just ate a bagel and got ready. So this is the matching set and I'm wearing these little slides I got from Ross. I got this outfit from TJ Maxx and I'm wearing my movement watch and just some little hoop earrings, but that's my outfit and I'm going to bring this little backpack with all my batteries and stuff because when I take pictures, I take a ton of pictures so I need extra batteries in case my camera dies and since I'm filming as well. That's the plan today. When we go and take pictures and stuff, Eric and Bailey, they will play uh, Pokemon Go. So that gives them kind of something to look forward to instead of me just going to take pictures. So it's kind of, we both get something out of it, but we're gonna get into the car head that way it takes about 30 minutes to get there these are my nails right now they're just yellow with a little bit of a flower pattern I'm not too fond of this yellow I wanted it to match my phone case and it's pretty close just a little bit off but what can you do all right it is one minute one minute till noon so we're gonna get there and get some content <laughs> So like I mentioned earlier, we're headed to the waterfront and I like to pick a location that has several different areas that you can get multiple pictures just to kind of switch it up. You can go several times back to the same place and get a ton of pictures and it looks like you're at a whole different place every single time. So that's why I like to go to an area that has a just multitude of places to take pictures. I am bringing my water, one, because it's hot outside, and two, if you don't know what to do with your hands while you're taking pictures, you can hold a cup. I'm also bringing my Polaroid camera. These are just little props, I would say, to keep your hands busy, to look like you're holding something, just if you don't know what to do with your hands, if you're quite new at trying to take photos for Instagram, I do suggest bringing props, flowers, your phone, a cup, Polaroid, whatever, just to keep your hands busy and looking more natural. And I also bring whatever lip products that I put on, I bring those with me so that I can touch them up before pictures. If I've been drinking and it rubs off, I like to bring those so it doesn't look faded and it looks very good in pictures. I also have some sunglasses. Those are another prop you can use. You can hold on to your sunglasses, you can play with them. But I will show y'all all of my poses and things that I like to do while taking pictures. Sometimes before I leave the house, I like to stand in front of the mirror in the outfit that I'm gonna wear and pose and see what poses look the best in the outfit I'm wearing. I know that may seem very awkward at first, but the more you do it, the more you can see what poses you like, what is flattering with the outfit you're wearing. I know this is a lot to go into simply taking pictures, but honestly, that's kind of what all entails with taking pictures, if that's something you're into. So. We're almost to the waterfront now, and then we will get to taking photos. So now we're going to your bedroom. Don't you think we're moving too soon? I love to hear you when you complain about your best friend, how she's so late. And as you're talking, I'll start thinking. All the details start to sink in. But I don't care about the right now Spend the summer in this beach house So the parts that I'm gonna film of me getting my photos taken will be on my phone because we take photos with my camera. So if the footage is a little off, that's why it's because it's on my phone. Our first location is right here. I'm probably gonna stand in the walkway right here. Maybe in the gazebo, I don't know yet. Was right to play my part. My and it 
in between each shoot, I like to check the pictures to make sure that they look okay. Didn't care for those too much, so we're gonna try again. And I did like it better with my glasses on rather than off. That's why I check the pictures to see if my posing is good and if I like props that I'm using. I'm gonna check those and then I think that's gonna be it for this location and we'll move on to somewhere else. Sometimes I get a little green shade of jealousy. So this is probably one of my favorite places to shoot because I can sit and get as many pictures as I want in all different directions. And it's just it makes for a really good sitting picture because these are just these are just adorable. You'll see them on my Instagram if you go look of me sitting in these I just love it. See, in truth it's how I know that you're the one for me. And when you see in red come over, we can talk it through. I'll throw a warmer shade on your colder moods. Yeah. Drip drip in the canvas frame. Take a second to appreciate the beautiful mess we make. I don't wanna paint by numbers. That just ain't the way I wanna love. We got a lot of good ones, so I think that's gonna be it today because you can kind of see the redness on my face and I don't wanna overdo it. And plus, I'm still gonna get home and show you guys how I do it by myself when Eric's not here. We are back home into outfit number two. I will be filming this on my camera because when I am taking photos by myself, I use my cell phone to take pictures with because I have a little remote that I can click and it will take pictures for me. So I'll be filming on the camera this time and using my phone to film with. When I'm feeling very dressed up, I like to get into several different outfits, take many photos so that I'll have plenty to post later on. But I'm wearing a white shirt to kind of go with the pink and white outfit I wore earlier today so that when I post them, it won't look exactly matchy matchy, but it'll it'll still kind of go together, if that makes sense. But here's the outfit. Just this little cardigan. I have it buttoned once, shorts, and then some Converse. I did put lotion on my legs so that it does look a little shiny. This is the setup we've got going right here. Just a ring light, my phone. This is the little remote that I use, very discreet. You don't want it showing in your pictures. I'm gonna be kind of sitting in the chair getting as much natural light as possible. And I reapplied my lipstick. My lips are nice and glossy, so let's try and get these pictures. feeling the pictures put on some music so I'm probably gonna mute the rest of this and play music over it so that I can listen to music and get into the mood of taking pictures now we're going to your bedroom don't you think we're moving too soon I love to hear you when you complain about your best friend now she's so late and as you're talking I start thinking Okay, so I got some pretty good ones. Now I kind of want to take a picture like this. And I kind of have an outfit that I can match with that. So I'm going to try and get this picture as well. Okay, so outfit number three. I just have these jogger shorts on. This little crop. It does have a little bit of a stain on it, but I'm hoping my hair will cover that with the pictures. So I'm going to move this mirror somewhere I think I can get the photo. But I don't know yet, we'll have to move it around and see. I'm a little scrunched right here, I don't think this is gonna work. I know this setup is pretty ridiculous, but you gotta do what you gotta do for the shot. And I think this is gonna work like that. So she'll have the camera in her face like this. 
I just hope when I move my foot this does not fall on me. I need to wipe down this mirror before I take pictures because it's pretty dusty. Let's try and get this. Gotta get the angles. Things you do for the gram, gotta do it for the gram. I'm gonna keep trying to get this picture and listen to music. I went through every single picture. I downloaded all the ones off the camera onto my phone, went through all the ones I took on my phone, and I deleted about a thousand photos because when you're taking photos the photographer whoever's taking pictures tends to just hold the button down and it continuously clicks because you're moving trying to get that certain pose so for maybe every 500 pictures that you get you'll get maybe seven or eight really good ones so I went through all of them and I have uh, about 25 maybe 30 to look through and see like which ones make the cut and go even further. So I go through all the ones that I hearted and pick out the best ones out of the little bunches and then I'll add a filter on them or kind of edit them how I like to see how it goes from there and whichever ones make it the best go on my Instagram. Woohoo, big whoop, I know, I know. That's how my process goes from taking and choosing pictures. Now, if you want me to go into further depth as of how I edit them and choose what type of filter I like to put over them, then I can do a whole nother video on that, but if y'all did like today's video, please like and subscribe so that you can be a part of this little community that we are creating here. And hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every Wednesday when I post, because I post every Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Go follow that Instagram so you can see these photos that I'm taking, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.